cook it, and sell it. And today she's here with us to tell us about how she started the organization and the difference it's made. So please join me in welcoming Mary Jones, the final speaker of TEDx Kids at BC 2012 with Eat What You Grow. about my project, Eat What You Grow. When I was six years old, I was lucky enough to be able to travel to South Africa. And when I was there, we were driving through a shanty town, and we saw the African kids' houses. And if you looked in a Vancouver trash can, you'd find what their houses were made out of. Maybe a rusty old piece of tin, or a wet piece of cardboard, or a ripped up sheet. But that's what they had to make their houses, and they, yet they seemed happy with that. We drove on some more, and we saw some kids playing soccer, a game that you'd always seen playing in Vancouver, except something was different. When you see soccer playing in Vancouver, they have the perfectly groomed fields, and the new white nets, and the new and latest soccer ball. But they had a dirt ground, rocks for nets, and a tin can for a soccer ball. But they were having just as much fun, and that memory stuck in my mind. And then about two months later, when we got back to Vancouver, my brother brought home a form from his school. For UNICEF. And on the first page, I saw that you could raise money for a pencil, and I thought that that was pretty cool. I flipped to the next page, and I saw that you could raise money for pencils, erasers, and sharpies for the whole class, and I thought that was pretty awesome. And I flipped to the next page, and I saw you could raise money for a soccer ball. And I couldn't stop thinking about what I had saw in South Africa. So I started raising money. This is a picture of me and my brother in the Vancouver career. Me and my brother, Logan Jones, raised $7,000 for UNICEF. And that was enough to build a water well and maybe some soccer ball, balls, too. I thought they have water. What about food? And later that night, I told my dad the idea. And since he was already working in South Africa, he told some people there the idea. And some keen volunteers made it happen on the ground. And Iwi Grow was brought to life. You may ask, what is Iwi Grow? Iwi Grow is a charity in South Africa for kids who need or would like to be able to grow their own food. And those kids get the proper supplies and teaching to do so. And right now, it's at four different public schools. Near Rustenburg, a two-hour drive from Johannesburg. This is the supplies that they get, and they get it in a bucket. They get seeds that will grow properly in their climate, which consists of beans, beetroot, and some cabbage, and some other things. They also get some fertilizer, just to get their garden growing, because they need to get their food. We also give them a t-shirt, because it's $14 to go to school for the whole year. But to them, that's a lot of money. And so to have to buy a uniform on top of that is getting way expensive. So then we give them a t-shirt that they can put over top of their clothing, so they don't get it all dirty. We also give them a notebook, because if they find something interesting about the plants that they're growing, they can simply write it down. And we also give them a little brochure about EV Grow. So if their parents ask what Ewe Grow is, they can just hand them the, the brochure, and it tells all about Ewe Grow. And we also give them some growing tips. So if they want to start growing at home, they can have a successful garden. And we also give them a bag of candy and some puzzles, just to get them excited about what they're going to be doing. They also get these tools to get their ground prepared. They get a hoe, a pitchfork, a rake, and a shovel. This was the opening ceremony for Ewe Grow. And as you can see, they're all receiving their buckets. And it's kind of a traditional thing for them. For ceremonies, they all get their faces painted and sing and dance too. And it was kind of respectful to us that they did that for the Iwi Grow opening ceremony. Now, right now, Iwi Grow is at four different public schools. And in the picture, those girls are getting their ground prepared to grow. Now, imagine that you're 15 years old. You live by yourself and you can't afford to go to school. Every morning, you wake up hungry and alone. And every night, you go to bed hungry and alone. That's the life of the boy who lives in that house. And now, Ewe Girl has found a way to get out to those people. And we do this by, at the end of each term, there's winners for say most enthusiastic or best grown garden. And those people get to choose two people in their community who they think need the food most. And those people will get the proper supplies and teaching to do so. And they can teach others, who can teach others, and they'll all get supplied. And so Ewe Grow can grow out into the garden all by itself. This is some pictures.
pictures of the gardens out in the villages. And as you can see, the gardens are really nice. And the iwi grow supplies them with enough seeds so they can grow so much food that they have enough so they can sell. And as you see behind the, the gardens, it's a little bit of a contrast to the houses. And so they can sell their food and maybe, and the money can go towards helping their lifestyle become better or even making their, an improvement on their houses. And this is some of the adults getting involved in the program to go get their food. And as you, these are some of the kids with their gardens. Now as you can see, they're pretty proud of their gardens, right? And that gives me a sense of satisfaction and pride. But it's not like the feeling of, of satisfaction you get when you get a good grade. When you get a good grade, you feel like you've helped yourself. But this feeling is far greater, because you feel that you, sorry, <laughs> when you get a good grade, you, yeah, you feel like you've helped yourself. But this feeling is far greater because you've helped make somebody else feel pr proud and pride. And that's what keeps me raising money. And I raise money by going door to door, presenting at churches, and sometimes offices. And so far, I've raised $7,000, $7,400 for Eat What You Grow. And on my most recent visit, I went to present the check. This is some pictures from my most recent visit. And as I told you about the winners for Most Enthusiastic or Best Grown Gardens, we took them out for dinner. And it was really cool that we were still able to communicate, even though we did speak the same language. I don't know how to speak any South African, and they could barely speak English. But we could still communicate, and I found that really cool. I hope that my story inspires you, and always remember, the age is just a number. And as long as you believe, I think that anything is possible. Thank you. That was great. A huge thank you to Mary for ending off the day so nicely. We have one final video for you.